Hi, I'm Matty. Today I'm pleased to share my results on internet censorship during my presentation. I provide you a review on internet censorship. I go through the different aspects and the necessity of internet censorship. Uh, let's get started. Uh, internet. I trust that most of the citizens cannot live without internet in the world today. Internet of offers virtual cyberspace where we are free to make collection and internet intention to the world. However, freedom on internet is not absolute nowadays. Next, I will analyze the internet censorship from the three different aspects. One legal, two is administrative, three is the technological. For the legal aspects, most of the countries has regulated on internet censorship through legislation which enable internet management to solve two kind of the problem. Uh, the first one is the to define the boundary and uh, on online speech and uh, behavior to def define what should be protected and what should be the forbidden. And the second one is the to clarify the obligation obligation of government and uh, internet service provider and also the internet user for the administrative aspects and uh, most many countries has established different institute to administrate and supervise the speech of internet for the example for the example uh, Federal Communication Commission in US and the Cyber Safe Administration of China. Uh, those institutes will scream the message on the social media. Once the message are suspended to first person, it's necessary low security they are capable on of requiring requiring ISPS on or mobile network operator to delete message or internal in information on internet for the technological aspects internal fluctuation in censorship can be divided into what two types the first one is uh, transferring on the main world when internet user connect to internet international network the second type is the Fluctuation executed by internet service provider in the most con most country, both types are used. That. To the last point, is necessary for the implementing in internet censorship. Actually, I think government and internet user has those own stance. From the government side, internet censorship should be implemented because it is able to prevent and regulate the import part on illegal behavior but from the internet user they think that it will lose freedom of speech and suppress creativity and in conclusion internet censorship should be implemented in today's world however government should not over regulate otherwise it only provoke we resistance from people. Thank you.